state the nobler effect no one is getting the question wrong obviously let's take a look at 6.2 for this experiment write down the independent variable that is 6.2.1 and 6.2.2 a controlled variable let's take a look at the question statement so if you want past papers and study notes go to allpastpapers.com i've solved all the questions in this question paper if you want to download the memo go to allpastpapers.com check the description you'll find the link on the description or you can just search on your browser allpastpapers.com right an investigation is performed to determine the relationship between the velocity of a car moving or the velocity of a moving sound source and the frequency of the sound detected. The siren of an ambulance produces sound with a constant frequency. The ambulance with its siren on moves towards a stationary sound detector, part A, right? And then away from the stationary sound detector in part B at constant velocities. The experiment is repeated for each different velocities of the ambulance. The detected frequency is measured for each velocity the results obtained are shown in the diagram below so again 6.2.1 the independent variable so the independent variable is what we are willingly changing in our experiment but then in this question it's even given in the x-axis of the graph you're given that is the velocity of the ambulance so 6.2.1 the velocity of the ambulance and then 6.2.2 a controlled variable a controlled variable so a control variable by definition is what you keep the same when you are exp when you are conducting this, an experiment that's what makes your tests to be fair your various tests to be fair so in the equation statement the control variable is given as well if you read the statement you shall see the control variable is it written right there can you see the control variable what did you write let me know in the comments what you wrote as your answer the first person to get the question right i'm going to pin the comment All right maybe let me just say i'm going to pin the comment after some 10 minutes so that other people can share their opinions as well so what is the control variable they didn't look at the question statement that is 6.2.2 6.3 what conclusion can be made for part b of this experiment so part b what's happening in part b so in part b the ambulance is moving away so this has to be part B as the frequency is decreasing, right? We know that the detected frequency is going to decrease if the sound source is moving towards. So what conclusion can we give? As the velocity increases, the detected frequency decreases. 6.3. And then 6.4. Calculate the speed of sound in A. Calculate the speed of sound in A. Right. Now let's look at our graph and see what we can do so we have part a and part b we can start with either it does not really matter which one we start with so let's start with part a part a the ambulance is moving towards what we have is the velocity of 25 meters per second and the corresponding frequency we don't have the frequency emitted and then we also have Part B, it looks like we're going to solve simultaneously. Let's take a look. So in part A, we're going to have FL being equals to V plus or minus VL divided by V plus or minus VS multiplied by FS. Right, so part A. So in part A, the sound source is moving towards. So FL, the detective frequency, it's 1, 2, 9, 8. And then this is equals to V plus or minus the velocity of the listener, which is stationary, divided by V plus or minus Vs, the velocity of the sound source. So that is going to be V minus 25 as it is moving towards, multiplied by Vs, oh, not Vs, but Fs. So when we get to this point, we realize that V is unknown, Fs is unknown. We are stuck, but likely for us, we have part B. So that's how we are going to proceed. In part B, the sound source is moving away. And the detective frequency is 1115. So that is going to be V divided by V plus 25 multiplied by Fs. So we have these two equations. We just need to solve simultaneously 
and find V and then FS or FS and then V, depending on what we're looking for and what we can calculate first. So we need to manipulate one equation, substitute it on the next, and then solve for solve for what? Solve for V or FS, depending on what we are going to be able to do. So let's start with the first equation. So in the first equation, I want to make F as the subject of the formula. So I'm going to divide both sides by F as. I'm going to have 1, 2, 9, 8 divided by F as being equals to V divided by V minus 25. And then I'm going to write this as F as over 1, 2, 9, 8 is equals to V minus 25 over V. Right, and then I'm going to go on to proceed and multiply both sides by 1, 2, 9, 8. So I'm going to have Fs being equals to V minus 25 over V multiplied by 1, 2, 9, 8. Right, on the other side, on the left side, it is going to cancel with 1, 2, 9, 8 on the denominator. So in place of, so Fs is therefore equals to 1, 2, 9, 8 Vs. Uh, not Vs, but V. 1, 2, 9, 8 uh v and then i have one two nine eight multiplied by 25 so that is going to be minus three two four five zero divided by v so that is fs so i'm going to come to my equation to now and say one 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 five is equals to v divided by v plus 25 multiplied by one two nine eight v minus three two four five zero divided by v right so now we are gonna multiply the numerators together right and then we're gonna multiply the denominators together and then we're gonna solve for v so that is the approach pretty much straightforward from this point we're done with the physics essentially we're just left with the math so let me know which answer you got in the comments as the final answer. I'm getting 328 meters per second when I do a bit of math. Which answer did you get? Let me know in the comments. But this is the approach we all took, nothing else.